Hello art students, welcome again. We are still working on clay. The last one we did was slab building. So today we'll do a technique called sculpting. As you can see, I have my lamp of block clay. Like I said in the previous episode, the best way to keep it moist is to store it in a polythene bag like this one. This clay have been moist for almost a month because they are just under the bag. So today we'll sculpt very basic forms. Like if you see this small piece, looks like a piece of bread, the block shape. So from this piece, I'll sculpt bread. For sculpting, we need a couple of tools, a wooden modeling tools, metal loops, cutting wire, sculpture calipers, a packing knife, a fork or score, and a spray bottle to keep the clay moist because it's a spray bottle of water. But then we don't have those tools, we'll improvise. Like for the cutting tools, I have pieces of plastic, and for the cutting wire, I've improvised a rope. So now, let us start with our improvised tools to sculpt the clay. When I'm sculpting a piece of bread, there are chunks that I need to cut out. You can easily see I'm cutting the top part. And to make a rounded top, so I'll work on the clay until it's rounded. My plastic cutter works really well like a cutting knife. It has to have a flat, really flat surface like a knife. Take your time. needs to have a rounded top edge. I'll remove the excess clay so it doesn't tamper with the work. There, and as you know, bread has ridges on both sides. If you've achieved the curve, by simple sculpting. That's a good enough curve. So I'll do my ridges on both sides. To create a good ridge, I will mark it. On both sides, easy marking with my sculpting tool. Since this is a bit muddy, I get a new tool. Same plastic cutter. So I shape the ridge. Same way I shaped the top. Then I remove the excess clay. What I'm doing on one side, I have to do on the other side. I cut out the ridge. Make sure your clay is in a comfortable working position so that you don't destroy your form. I see I'm using the tool to shape the clay, not my fingers. The technique is the sculpting technique. 
So with my fingers, I just remove the excess clay. It's not cut out properly, so I have to repeat the process. Done. As you can see, it's starting to take the form of a loaf of bread. So I'll just shape the finer details with my cutting tool. There is your bread form. The importance of a wire or rope cutting tool, it cuts, it cuts through finely, so it will help us make the slices. I will cut my bread with my rope. Easily separate the slices. For beginners, I would suggest you start with basic forms. Like this is a very simple sculpture that any amateur can make. We can leave it there. That is my block of bread and the slices. Okay, this time we'll make a simple artist's brush. We are all aspiring to be artists, so there are simple forms that are around us. For example, I used paint brush. This is my block of clay, well moist. So using my cutting rope, I will cut a line across. Unlike the bread now, this time I will cut a straight line all the way down. The goodness of a rope, it gives a clean cut and doesn't stick to the clay. That's a clean cut. I put aside my excess block of clay. So as you can see, this already has the brush form. It's flat like the brush. So what I need to do with my sculpting tools is simply cut out the shape of the brush. This is a simple, long plastic cutter. So I remove the excess clay. It's good to start with simple forms because the complex forms like human faces can discourage you. It needs you to master sculpting as a technique before you can embark on it. 
So I'll use my brush as a study guide. Simply curves at the edge. The technique is very simple. Just cutting out excess clay till your form comes to be. To make a fine bar brush, I'll give details on one side. I have the handle, so I shape out the steel Hold for the bristles. Remove the excess clay. Then with a new cutter, I form the bristles simply by pressing onto the clay. Repeat the process and try to make your brush as realistic as it can be. There are simple details like two bolts. to hold the bristles, so those are the two bolts. This is a very simple brush from a block of clay. Thank you very much for your patience.